a friend of ours has just popped in as well. Say hello. So what you're saying is we only do winners on our show. Yes, we do. Mr. Joe McKeldry. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. I've, I haven't been well this week. I've had that horrible flu virus thing, but I'm all right now. So you brought it in for me and Kelly. It's gone. It's well, gone. Oh, oh, right See, now. I had it last week as well, didn't I? Because oh. I was really ill last I week. I got it. Is there a story? Uh, really? yeah. Yeah. Oh well, there was that night. <laughs> but we won't talk about that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, you're a busy man at the minute. I am. Yeah, I've just kind of finished. Well, not finished, but I'm kind of in the middle of promoting the album. It was out two two weeks ago, so I done the first bit of promotion, and then we're kind of carrying on next for the next so single, ready sorting all that out. So, so decision time at the minute. Yeah, there's two there's two songs, two songs we're deciding on, so I have to go down to London tomorrow to do some recording on an extra track. Um, and we're kind of making a decision once we hear them both finished. So I haven't so even decided to say, who gets it right? Is it, do you have one in your head that you secretly want? Yeah, I've got one that I really want. I yeah. like them both. Mm -hmm. The label are kind of leaning to one, I'm leaning to the other. So I have to go and kind of make the other one that they're not so sure on better than the one that they like. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing tomorrow. We start singing it really, but it's like when people ask you to make cups of tea and you don't want how to make tea for everyone, so you make it rubbish. Yeah, so well, they go, no, I'm not no, have anymore. The producers are working on it at the minute and I'm going to phone them and I'm going to be like, put some extra bells and whistles oh, on the one that I want. <laughs> Can I just say, there's only Kelly makes bad tea, just so she <laughs> Stop it! Well, maybe it is just me. I think you can have a song out for Christmas. Um, I think it'll be out. It'll be out before then. I mean, it's not a single. It's more of a focus track. Yeah. yeah. And you kind of, it's the one that you perform to promote the album. Mm. Um, but it will be out before Christmas. Yeah. It'll be out and it'll be in the public domain. Someone told me a lovely little story about you the other day, and uh, it was just after the Great North Run. Which how was it, by the way? How did you find it? Do you know what it is? I, I really enjoyed it this year. Last year was a different story. I, all sorts of swear words came out of my mouth at the finish <laughs> line last year. This year, I re I trained loads and I'd been running, so I was really ready for it and I enjoyed it. But um, it was it was a good atmosphere and it always helps when it rains. It sounds stupid, but when it's hot, it's a nightmare. Yeah, well, I saw you on the telly. It's just as you finished, you looked all fresh face. You looked fine. Well, I wouldn't say fresh face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were yeah, looking good, though. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. And the atmosphere is always great. You know, everybody's always having a blast and people do it for charity you know days like these as well where everybody's doing things for charity it makes everything so much fun i mm. think so much better he works in the uh, he does one of the tents right at the very end of the race and obviously has a, a quick word with a few people and he said that uh, they were really looking forward to john mckeldry coming in and uh, he was really looking forward to interviewing him and having a chat about his race but he said but uh, because he lives so close he just picked up his, his trainers and his bag and he walked on. Oh, <laughs> what did he, did he not get to see us? Oh no, he, 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 I, think he, I don't think it was planned. I think it was just more the fact that you just, <laughs> you only live around the corner. Well, so they, were like, they were like, well we, we have cars, we'll have cars, we can take you. And I was like, I'd rather just walk. Exactly. That's what walk, I mean. walk, the, um, <laughs> walk the pain out of my leg. So I just threw a hood up and I threw the, threw the cut and I was off home. I think he was more impressed at your non-diva-like <laughs> end to the Great North Run. Well, yeah. you know, I could have had a helicopter. And <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, now, talking about running, uh, here at Real Radio, we've been doing Hike for Heroes. So the whole plan, how far is it all together we've been hiking? 487 <laughs> kilometres right. we've tried to do over the last... Oh, well, so we started That's a last long Friday. Time. Yeah, so we've had just during the, the hours that we're on air, just does a lot, uh, everyone who works at Real Radio has to has to go on so people get dragged out yeah this you can have a look through at the moment uh we've got rachel from upstairs she's running on the treadmill we've had people running in the work shoes people in full suits i'll people do a bit would you do it yeah i'll do it well i was gonna offer you I'll a run this morning yeah. oh, but i'll amazing. do it i'll do it i'll do a little bit oh. i mean i'm not really dressed appropriately for running but you I'm should spare, see we, spare shorts oh, the car. do you know what no don't wear those shorts three people today have had to share his shorts right, so. I think I'll, I'll stick with the skinny jeans and that, yeah. so all right. <laughs> right i was gonna offer you a little bribe to be fair i was gonna say if we play here's what i believe will you jump on for five ten minutes oh of course i will perfect I will. this is uh, this is mr joe mckeldry at his very best i'm tired of him 